Hi, it's Dave here at Megapoints Controllers. What I want to do on this video is just bring you up to date on our integration work with JMRI. Consider this to be a preview of what's coming up. The physical hardware interface hasn't been built yet and I'm actually using a little Arduino here with my uh, software onto interface. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to be using uh, Mythical Sidings, which is uh, two-point sidings with feedback and a mimic panel attached. So if I throw the mimic panel, you'll see the points move. And I can throw it back. And the points will move back. Let's bring this one back. There we go. And they're back. And the reason I'm using this is because I have occupancy detectors here, here, here and here. And I have point position indicators here. So if I throw this point, you'll see on the panel here, the LED moves to indicate that it's reading the switch. So all I've done is I've attached the Arduino to the network and it's monitoring this whole network and ultimately controlling it through JMRI. And you can see on the screen, I've drawn a virtual panel uh, using Panel Pro to um, mock up the sidings. So if I click the button on the bottom left, what you'll see is the point will throw and the panel updates to show that the point is now thrown. And I can repeat that for the next one. Give it a click and the point will throw and the switch is red. If I then throw the bottom point manually to show you that it's reading it, you can see that Panel Pro is reading or JMRI interface is reading how it's currently set. If I flick it back, you'll see and then the panel will update after a few seconds to show that it's currently reading the switch. So I've dropped the loco on the track and you can see that the block is occupied, block number one on the lower left. And as I shunt my loco around, you'll see that the block number two is occupied. Bring it back. And if I throw the points, then as we come up to the next section, you'll see that's occupied. And finally, bring it back. We'll do that section. Bring it to the top. And this is also occupied up the top here. So what we have going on is obviously the ability to command the turnouts. The panel will always remain up to date. So if I flick the bottom left point number one here uh, through JMRI, you'll see that the panel also changes to correctly mimic so at this point, JMRI is firmly in control of the layout, but I do have a panel here. In fact, if I press this button to try and move this point, what you'll see happen is the point will throw and after a few seconds, JMRI will go, nope, and it'll flick it back. There it is. So it's firmly in control while this adapter is connected and running. Now the way that's configured, if I go into the tables for JMRI, Let's bring a table up here. And what I have is I've configured 192 output devices because our system can cope with 192 devices, points or whatever they happen to be, whether it's points, gates, barriers, doors, semaphores. But these are all configured uh, through the standard table. And uh, we can see here that I've configured the first one to sensor CS201 and it's actually reading through that sensor and if I go to the sensors table we can see here I have a list of sensors now the sensors is slightly different we don't have 192 we have 384 and the reason for that is somewhat subtle the first 192 uh, are the taken off our network and they are indicating the way that our network has commanded uh, an output device to set. So that is the commanded state on the first 192. From 193 onwards, effectively, there's another separate 192 sensors and this is the feedback bus. So if you have a feedback module such as this installed, address one begins at 193. And in fact, if I look here, there's an active on CS202. 
So this one is shown as active or thrown. I'm not sure which one that is at this point, but uh, we could look it up in a minute. Um, and we'll, as we scroll down, we can see all of the other sensors down to 384 are listed. If I go to the turnout table, we can see that the first points, CT1, are actually on the panel being displayed by sensor CS201. A little hard to read, it's greyed out. And the second points are connected to sensor CS202. So that um, the sensor is being used to read whether the points are closed or thrown. So if I come back to my panel up here and I uh, move a set of points, you can see here that the state changed to thrown because it's reading that state. If I change this one, then this will change. And it's changed to closed. Points are straight through. So you can see that the actual feedback state and the intended state are, are matching. So that's a little preview on what we've done with JMRI. The next steps for us will be to make an actual uh, green board with a USB interface that goes straight into your computer. If you've any comments or you'd like to uh, chime in with some requirements before we finish uh, writing and developing the software, please drop me an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.